Hey guys, welcome back to Crosshair Garage. Today we're going to work on doing a little repair on this. We're going to we're going to see how this if it even works. So, if you're following the channel um, on the Falcon, we are now in the interior phase of the build. Um, you know, I'm you know trying to fix the interior up. I got new floor pans, all that kind of stuff, new seats to go in it, uh, fixing door panels, that sort of thing. But the passenger side armrest has this little tear in it, as you can see. And these things are not cheap. They're out 150 bucks or something a piece, or I can't remember. I, I'm not spending that. Um, so we're going to try the JB Weld uh, Leather Weld kit, see if it does anything. I won this uh, Turtle Wax Complete Car Care Kit at a cruise in the other night. Um, so I don't know which one. So the dash and glass. Uh, you're not supposed to use anything soapy on this. So I'm hoping this isn't soapy. We'll find out real quick. Hey. Oh, that's might be soapy. I don't know what's in that. Oh, it smells good though. It smells like uh, one of those car, you know, the car washers when you go through them. But anyway, we're going to get this all cleaned up. It's just going to be a short little video because I couldn't find a video on this one that was worthwhile anyway um, so I thought we'd give it a try now this is uh, as you can see that's kind of raised up there that that vinyl is um, so I'm gonna break out the heat gun on mine and I'm gonna see if I can't heat that up maybe soften it up a little bit get it to fold back down probably gonna blow a breaker hooking it in there but you know what things happen let's go put it on low uh, you're supposed to have this cool or clean and dry, it says. Now, see, that thing is split pretty good. So, if we get anything out of this, you know, and it saves me, you know, 150 bucks, I'll be thrilled to death. Apply some heat and bend it down. Oh, that's working. Let's kind of raise it up over there, too. Bend her down. Kind of push her into shape. There we go. <laughs> that actually kind of worked. Kind of flattened it out pretty good. You know, and here's the thing is I'm not building a show car. Sorry, I'm not I'm not building a show car. Uh, let's see. So, let's break into this. We've got some instructions here. Uh, prepare. Step two, backing. What is backing? Well, maybe I should read this. Backing fabric. If there's no backing or support under damage, cut the backing fabric slightly larger than the damage area and insert it into under the thing. So I guess I'm supposed to put some backing fabric in there. Oh, and they gave me some. Sweet. Um, however, I do have some fabric over here that's a little closer. This is the fabric I picked up to do my door panels in, and that's a little closer. So I think I'm just going to cut a small piece of this. Yeah, my original idea was just to rewrap this entire thing. Um, but then I thought I'd give this a shot. See what happens. You know, what's the worst that can happen? It fails. I don't know how to go about this. Um, I guess I just need to cut a little bit and slide it in there. Something like that. Slide it in. And it's got to drop down a little bit. Something. That is nice that they give you uh, some couple of different fabrics to work well. One fabric to work with. Whatever. Anyway. Oh, so we got to lift this back up again. Great. Cut us another small little... I just had more. There it is. So get you slid into place. Possibly. Oh, come on now. Don't be like that. Well, would you just go in there? Alright. I mean, whatever. You know, let's slide you over a little bit. Like it's better already. All right, so let's let's heat this up a little bit more. Yeah, we we want to heat it up till it's smoking like that. Then we're gonna push down. I mean, to be honest, it's probably not bad. Um, all right. So then, what's our next step? Um, 
adhesive. And it says, for deep damage, which we have, use the spatula to push the vinyl adhesive into the damaged area until both sur surfaces are even. Until both surfaces are even. I read that kind of weird. I was like, until both surfaces are even. Anyway, um, for rips or tears, use a spatula to buy the vinyl adhesive under both edges and center to hold backing and fabric. Allow adhesive, adhesive to fully dry. This may take up to 24 hours. Note, vinyl adhesive will shrink when dry, leaving a slight void. This will later be filled with the color repair compound. All right. So we're going to go in here. We're going to break out our vinyl adhesive. And then we're going to take our quote unquote spatula thingy. Whatever. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Do we need to stir this? It didn't say we need to stir it. I don't know. I'm going to stir it anyway. You know how stuff settles. I mean, it's basically, if it's got the smell of Elmer's glue and about the consistency of like a thick Elmer's glue. So let's see. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go very liberal on this. Ugh. Because it says it shrinks. Get the old shrinkage happening, you know? Oh, look, it's even cracked down through there. I gotta get that. Alright, so as you guys can tell, I did go very liberal on this. But you know what? Why not? It shrinks. It says so right in the instructions. So, anyway, uh, I'm gonna cap this back. I'm gonna go ahead and clean off my little spatula thing because I think we need it for the coloring. Um, these are the colors that it does come with. It comes with an empty little mixing cup, and then it comes with, uh, I mean, pretty good colors. You know, red, blue, white, yellow, brown, kind of a weird green, and a black. Um, I, you know, I think you can make just about any color from this, you know. Um, so, anyway. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys back here in 24 hours. All right, guys, so here we are. We're back. We're, we're a full 24 plus hours later. I mean, we're probably more like 26, 28 hours. Um, to be honest, that doesn't look too bad as is, you know, but let's see if we can, you know, do something here. Uh, I just noticed this. Look, I can actually read these instructions. Uh, what step did we leave off on? Let's, let's read what we're going to do. Step three, mix color. For color matching assistance, please see reverse side. Okay. We're just going black, so it doesn't matter. Uh, use the spatula to transfer the desired color into the mixing bottle cup. Mix the color into... Okay, so we, we're using black. So we'll just pull out our black. Alright, so step four, we're going to read on to step five also because I think there's multiple things that we need to be doing here um, to make this work correctly. I just want to make sure. Alright, apply the color leather repair compound. For best results, use the spatula and apply color repair compound smoothly and evenly into the damage. Feather the edges so that the surface is smooth and not overlapping good material kind of like we did with the glue we overlap good material oops oh well um, place the selected grain texture this side up grain texture so they say with this they give you a little piece of vinyl or whatever they give you this piece but then so you have back here you have grain textures for what you want to match up to and let's see 
so they kind of start out kind of rougher maybe I don't know no is that smoother I think that's the one we want so let's pull that out let's compare all three of these Actually, it'd probably be this one. Or should I just, since I have this piece here, because, well, no, that's not even the same grain texture. I'll tell you what, I am going to use that. Hold on. I'm going to cut myself a bigger piece, though. So I'm just going to use my own material. If I place the selected grain texture, side of the wet, this side up over the wet. Repair comp. I'm not good at reading, guys. I'm from Kentucky. I apologize. All right. Step five. Remove grain paper and reveal finished repair after 12 to 14 hours. Gently remove the grain texture. Release paper off the repair. So we're going to do this, and then we got to come back in another 12 to 14 hours. Tomorrow morning we'll come back. I'll tell you what. Down inside here, I'm not too concerned about because that's just where, you know, but right here, I really want to get, I really want to get right there, but we'll just get coloring inside there. I'm trying to open this without spilling it everywhere because, well, that's generally my luck. This short video that I'm doing is now taking forever. It's going to be like a five minute video for you guys, but you know, so I'm going to stir this up though. It doesn't say to stir it, but you know. Stuff settles. You know how it is. Okay. So I'm going to dab some in there. Dab. Dab. That already looks better, I can tell you. This kit was, I want to say this kit was like $14. I got it off the uh, Amazon. And it was like $14. I'm sure you can pick it up at, uh, you know, any of your local, uh, you know, places that sell car parts. I'm sure they carry this stuff or something. I just, I've always had good luck with JB Weld products, so I thought I'd give this one a shot. And what does it say to do? Something about making it smooth? What? Uh, smooth and evenly into the damage. Feather the edges so that the surface is smooth. Okay, so let's. So where I, I put glue all over this, and I apparently was not supposed to do that. So I'm going to put some black over top of that glue, and maybe when I put the fabric on there, it'll kind of hide that a little bit. So you guys can learn from my mistake here. Are you falling asleep on me yet? I'm falling asleep doing this. This is boring. Whatever. Alright. Good enough. Uh, let's set this little guy off right here. Set you over there. So then we're supposed to take our grain stuff. Which is just this final piece that I have. And we're supposed to place it over top. I mean, I don't know. Do we put any weight on that? No. Yes. I don't. It doesn't say to. So, I guess that'd be a no. Uh, tip: If you notice that the repair compound is still wet, place grain paper back down and allow more dry time. If there is any underfilled areas, you can repeat step four. However, do not overfill. Use warm water for cleanup. So, I guess the next step is to just let that sit there for 12 to 14 hours. I guess, you know, I guess I'll see you guys back here in 12 to 14 hours for the reveal on this, see how it looks. All right, guys, so it has been a good, I, it's been a good 24 hours, um, 12 hours, I don't know, 24 hours, I don't know, something like that, between 12 and 24 hours. So we're going to peel this off, and wow, that looks terrible. Um. I mean, that really looks bad. 
I was, you know what, it's not dry. Okay. Let me take this. I think the problem is that I goop too much on there, you know, but and it's still it's tacky. I'm gonna let that dry. I don't, you know, you can still see the big crack there, you know. So this is the original. I was gonna do a big side by side comparison. My guess is th this is gonna wind up looking better once it's dried up then let's you know let's hit it maybe we can force it to dry I don't know it's just kind of peeling this is not in the instructions this is just me going you know a little wild and figuring it doesn't look great anyway so let's see if we can make it look a little bit better I'm not real good at following directions anyway and it said something about you know not getting it on the good part which I did, you guys saw, you know, 30 seconds ago, which was yesterday for me. So here's the thing. I is it good? Is it great? Well, no, I mean, it's not. Um, but I'm probably going to wind up ordering new ones at some point. Uh, and, you know, let's, let's try to shine this one a little bit. Because I did clean this one off yesterday. I'll tell you what, this stuff smells amazing. Anyway, all right, so here's the thing, guys. I'm, I'm really, I'm not mad at it at all. Uh, it doesn't look great. You can still see some of the white where it's that glue or whatever hasn't completely cured. Um, but now that I got this excess off here, it looks a lot better than it did. So if that's what you're going for, then you know whatever I don't know use it don't use it I can't recommend it this is just my experience with it whatever y'all make your own decisions I, I got other stuff going on I can't mess with this all the time so anyway thank you all for watching I got my socials and stuff they're right somewhere right here and hit a subscribe and you know Drop me a like, a comment, whatever, you know. If you've used this before, tell me what I did wrong, which was probably a lot of things. Um, maybe I can retry it after I hear your comments. Because this video is coming out way before the other videos that I'm also working on. So, anyway, uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.